All right, today uh, I'm just showing a quick video here. I have one of these uh, Nespi retro flag cases. Um, the price dropped back down on them, so they're back to $25. I really like these cases for the minis, but the problem is is that the uh, power button, when you press it, it just kills, and I know there's a lot of videos out there, and people are doing reset hacks on it, but I found one online, and I'll, I'll list it down below, but uh, there's a guy on eBay that is selling kits. So basically the kits are um, a couple, there's a capacitor, there's a MOSFET, there's a few things here. Um, so if you look here, the, the website's kind of listed right up there too. And um, as you're looking at it, you can see there's only really a handful of parts. But um, for $10, it's not bad. But unfortunately, the kits have been uh, backward. So if you click, sorry for the on-screen stuff. I do screen captures, but uh, anyways, if you go right here, click here. Let's see here. It opens up the uh, the whole guide. So there's a really nice guide, and I know that uh, a couple other people have showed this as well, but nobody's shown this actually completed. Uh, from what I've seen so I went through and did the wiring exactly how it shows here um, Made it all complete and then at the bottom there is the code that you can copy right in uh, Shows you which pins and how to choose different pins and in the code if you wanted to you can change it So that way when you hit the reset button instead it will uh, Reset it will exit the game instead of resetting the pot So I just want to show you how this works. I'm gonna hit the button and uh, let me turn off this light. Sorry there. And Desi's a mess. Sorry as well. It's just been a little bit of a project here. So uh, Retro Pi boots up. This is an image I've been working on that has uh, like the mini NES mini look to it. So it kind of match it matches the whole theme. The boot text I just have up right now, so I can see that it's actually doing a proper shutdown um, process but I can easily change that. So now the uh, the Pi is all set up. I don't have any controllers or anything hooked up to this one right now, but uh, when I'm ready, I'll just hit the power button. Screen goes black, you get the boot down text, the red light stays on and shuts down. And the red light goes off. And that's it, and hit it again, comes back up. Your pie boots back up, and the only thing uh, I haven't tried is actually hitting reset. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully, it'll be good. I set it up to re just reset the whole pie, not exit the games because my controllers do that. I don't want to have to get up and hit reset. Well, it'd be an additional option, but you get it. Let's hit reset. Uh, I did tap it twice because I didn't think it did anything. I should have waited, but it looks like it's doing a full, yeah, full reset. So that's nice. Well, anyways, that's um, that's that. So it seems to be working great. And uh, I'll post a link to the video, uh, sorry, to the uh, to the kit. And in there you can find the instructions and the list of parts. And it has the website. You can click on it and order the parts directly. I ordered it directly from the vendors. Um, so basically this is the mini MOSFET and it's by uh, Polu, I don't know, I'm terrible at that stuff. And then um, I ordered some different capacitors and diodes and so I think these are the diodes, I'm really bad with that stuff. And then uh, some more, so these were ordered directly from Arrow. Anything, I think my arrow order was like five bucks and then shipping. Um, and these should be the capacitors. But uh, the instructions were great. And I wish you best of luck in your project. And uh, that should solve it. And then you don't have this weird reset hack that people are doing. You can actually use the power button as intended. So it's a really nice feature. All right. Have a good one. Bye.